Good morning. Today is the second day um, since breaking my fast, and I am tired, but not. So I'm been lounging around a little bit because I'm not sure if I really want to get up and do the things that I want to do today quite yet or if I want to just sleep a little longer. Um, I went to bed around 3 o'clock in the morning and woke up at 8 to help my mom get ready for work. Um, yeah, I, I've been doing that since I've been here actually for the month and basically I'll wake up and make sure she gets up to get to work. Um, and then I help get her lunch ready so that way she knows what she's eating. Um, she sees, well, it's not really about saving money, but it's mostly the fact that I really want her to eat good food that has good things in it and not like crazy things that people really don't need to be eating, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I did that and I've kind of just been lying here just relaxing because I, I'm i also just dragging my feet a little bit because today I really need to get all my stuff together because I'm going to be leaving on Sunday to go back home. It's kind of bittersweet because I really enjoy this time that I spent with my family and um, connecting with them on a deeper level and communicating in ways we've never communicated before. So it's been pretty amazing and it's a little sad to leave. Um, but I'm also excited to go home because there's so many things Andrew and I have planned and uh, the beginnings of being planned and I'm just really excited to go home and do that and um, Really work on our lives together and it really feels like Right now we have a direction we want to take um, Which is pretty awesome It's extremely awesome actually um, so anyway I'm dragging my feet a little bit because I'm just like, oh, well, I don't want to leave, but I do want to go and I have, no, I want to get all of my um, stuff together, like my clothes, all the things that I brought, my books. So I really need to start working on, I really want to start working on that. I'm really working on, I'm in the process of changing my vocabulary and I um, am learning to not say should and have to. Things like that, um, I feel from what I've been reading um, in Louise Hay, she actually mentions that and in the nonviolent communication book that I'm reading, they talk about saying should and have to. Um, it just has this connotation of wrongness um, and that's something that I struggled with a lot growing up where it's like, oh, I should have done that. What's wrong with me? You know, and having this whole negative belief system about myself when nothing's actually wrong with me and, you know, it was just a mistake or, you know, a learning experience. I ended up taking a nap and waking up kind of late. I was, I started to uh, do my, um, meditation and, uh, declarations, affirmations. Um, and I kind of fell asleep instead. <laughs> so I guess I was tired and I needed that rest, which is great. Um, but I just recently got up and I decided I wanted to go and do a sauna. So I did a sauna and then I just took a nice ice cold shower. So I feel like so refreshed and wonderful. Um, I haven't obviously eaten yet cause I woke up really late, but I'm definitely going to break, um, my fast, I guess, uh, with this papaya here. It smells so good. I really hope it tastes as good as it smells. That's like one of the things, you know, when you get fruit and you're like, oh, that doesn't taste as good because it's not really from the climate or, you know, but I saw it and it looked good and I really wanted it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, uh, break my fast and then, or 
break my fast outside, but I'm deciding whether to do that or not because my dad just came home and he said it's really cold out. So I don't know that I want to be eating papaya outside in the cold. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I will keep you posted. Oh, another thing happened, I forgot. Um, I had the prunes yesterday um, around like 4.30, I wanna say, p.m. And I finally had a bowel movement, like a natural bowel movement without using an enema or kalima, kalima board, like an enema bag or a kalima board, which is really great. Cause I have, like during the fast, I had some bowel movements, but not really that many on my own. So I was excited that that happened. That might be too, too much information for some people, but um, yeah, that's really great because that means my digestion is starting to move, which I'm really excited about. So I can't wait to try this papaya. And I was actually really happy that I had a bowel movement before I started eating something else again because I just want to make sure that everything's continuously moving and not staying stagnant because that's kind of what happened before. And uh, I definitely emotionally eat well, definitely in the past. I don't know how that's gonna be affecting me now that I'm eating food again, um, but I'm just curious to see how that goes. Um, so yeah, um, anyway, I'm gonna break this guy open and eat him. I'm excited. Okay, so I just opened the papaya and it looks amazing. Amazing, like look at this. Look at this color. I cannot wait to try this. I cannot wait to try this, really. I'm so excited. This is the first time eating like uh, really fresh fruit for me because I had just the prunes, rehydrated prunes yesterday. So I'm pretty excited to try this papaya. All right. Okay, so I've been also practicing eating my food with more mindfulness and not really thinking about or you know trying as best I can. Not, I'm doing the best that I can to not have any other thoughts while I'm eating besides being grateful for the food that I have, being grateful for the people who grew it, being grateful for the earth who grew it, you know? So those are the things that I'm thinking about now when I'm eating or incorporating now while I'm eating things. Um, and yeah, so. And I also have been putting, um, for, um, I've been playing 432 Hertz music and I've been playing that just whenever I want to hear some sort of music. Even though I love, 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 love pop music, I just want to just feel more calm and I know that 432 has to do with the frequency of the earth and so I've been playing that while I'm eating also. So just that you don't want to know. I just came back 
with my dad. We went to go downtown for a little bit, and now we're back. And I had a coconut water, and now I'm having a second one because I really, 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 really like the taste of this Harmless Harvest coconut water and just coconut water in general. I mean, it'd be great if I had a fresh one, um, but right now I don't. So I'm just gonna use what I have available in the neighborhood. Um, so yeah, and now I'm getting ready to pack my stuff so that I can hang out with my family tomorrow. Um, my mom and dad both have off of work, so I'm excited we get to, we're gonna do some things tomorrow. I'll probably make some, I, with, they want to make some pizza from scratch, so I think we're gonna do that. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna eat that, but um, yeah, so we're gonna make that from scratch, and then that way we have time to spend together instead of me having to pack things, and then, you know, if I rush, I'll forget something, I don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna do it now. I have a few things here that I've already started to pack. Um, well, that I just kind of laid out. So I'm doing that. And yeah, I just wanted to document what I'm having. This is my second coconut water and then I had half of the papaya. I didn't have the whole papaya. The second half of my papaya. I'm feeling a little hungry, so I'm gonna eat it. These are my favorite mangoes. They're Kent mangoes. And I love, 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 love Kent mangoes. They're so good. So I can't wait till they ripen. And then I can enjoy mango. Ah, oh, I can't wait. I really wanna make mango salsa though. Like mango, it's, it's not like salsa. It's more like chopped up mango with chopped up tomato, chopped uh, with some lime juice. Um, and I, put olives and it's really good like that and some onions too but I don't think that's something that I need to eat right now that's probably a few weeks away to eat something like that um, I'm really keeping it simple and doing mono meals um, which means um, having one fruit um, per meal so just a meal of fruit of mangoes or a meal of papaya a meal of melon you know just things like that that's what mono meal means so that's what i'm doing for now and we'll see where all of this takes me so have a wonderful rest of your day everyone and thanks for watching um and if you like this give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to our channel below um, if you want to see more videos and please leave any comments, um, any questions and, uh, yeah, until the next video.